it's so nice to meet you both. My name is Alyssa. I'm a writer for The Nocturnal. And first, I wanted to tell you both that I found this film absolutely incredible. And the subject of Iranian women has been an interest of mine since I read a graphic novel in school called Persepolis. Um, I think you might be familiar with that. So I saw many parallels of that book in this film, which I thought was super cool. But my first question was for Zar. And I was fascinated. I read about your story of fleeing Iran, and I could feel an authentic sense of urgency within your portrayal of Shada. So I would love to know how you got into this character and if you channeled any previous emotions you may have had in your own experiences. Um, I, I would say <laughs> this is, you know, somehow our lives, our lives in Iran. Not only me, but I mean, most of the women that I know, they suffer anyway from this patriarchal society and uh, this male-dominated society, I would say. Uh, it starts with your family, with school, with education, and then it goes to the society and, you know, the culture. So it's not only... I mean, I always say, as an actress, I really believe that all these layers and emotions and characters they exist in us as human beings and uh, as an actor I think you need only to reach out to those specific uh, points of the character that you are just building up so for sure somehow I share some traumas uh, or I would say pains and also joy that Shada shares with the audience. But yeah, it's not, it's more universal for me than even the story of Iranian women, you know, especially after Sundance and, um, you know, just seeing how the audience react to the movie. I feel it's not only women's story, it's also men's story somehow. We met many men, you know, different ages who are sharing the same pain with us, you know. And uh, yeah, it, it goes really further than for me. Yeah, I totally understand what you mean, because it is it is a global issue in many ways, too. But I also was curious about um, Mona and her character, because in very few words, I think she embodies her parents' tumultuous relationship. And Nora, I think the misconception of children is that they feel so much of this and people don't realize it, even though they're so young. So I wanted to know how important it was for you to use Mona's character to defend her mother, especially in the part where Hussein was saying that he was convinced that Mona was brainwashed, even though she totally understood what was going on around her. Um, yeah, I think that children are caught in this crossfire, uh, when, when, you know, situations like this take place and I, I, I guess I, yeah, I really wanted to capture that dilemma for a child who, um, it's confusing. It's, it, I mean, it's confusing for adults, let alone for children to really fathom, um, domestic violence and, and the manipulations, the subtle manipulations that take place with the father and, um, you know, children just want to feel seen and loved. And when it becomes conditional uh, on, you know, you know, offering up information about your mother and where you live and, you know, it's very, it's, it's very harmful. And, um, you know, that kind of manipulation, that's domestic violence too. It's emotional, uh, it's psychological, um, can be financial too, you know, like, making it conditional to go to the movies even, you know? So, um, yeah, it's, it's, I, I definitely wanted to capture that and also being in her point of view was really important to, yeah, just, just highlight, um, all of those things. 
Yes. And I was also really surprised by the bonds that were created in the women's shelter. That really surprised me a lot just because that's not typically what we hear in like kind of the American experience. So I wanted to know like how closely was this storyline related to maybe some of the people you encountered when you were living in that environment or if this was something that you wanted to be different at all? Uh, I would say it's very close as in, <clears throat> you know, I, I was five years old when we were there and I, I guess, you know, the feeling that I, that stayed with me was the camaraderie and friendship. Like, even though the women were from different backgrounds to us, there was like, there was a connection. It was an unspoken connection, um, you know, that transcended language and, uh, you know, socioeconomic situation, but yeah, it really felt um, like a warm environment where everyone was kind of sharing in their pain and and also just trying to find the the moments of joy. You know, I remember my mom telling me like the first time she smoked a cigarette was in the women's shelter. The first time she had a had a drink of alcohol, um, and talked about feminism and, you know, it was a very um, formative time for her as a young woman. And so I, I really wanted to capture like that, that special world, that environment and uh, the diversity of it, because, you know, domestic violence doesn't discriminate, you know, culturally or socioeconomically. And um, I think, yeah, it's, it, it is very much uh, true, true to life. Like it, all of the all of the women are, are inspired by or based on women either we encountered or the the shelter manager that is uh, is our friend to this day. She's actually my godmother. So, wow. uh, and a lot of her stories were weaved into the screenplay. Uh, so, yeah, it, it all comes from a place of truth, and that was fundamental uh, because I wanted to to tell a story that was really uh, grounded in. And, and from a place of authenticity. Absolutely. It's so nice that you were able to create a community in that space. But I, I think the most important thing about this is that these types of stories really deserve a lot of attention as, you know, there are still so many xenophobic ideas out there and people still have a lot of like bad views of people, you know, coming to these countries for refuge. So I want to know, what do you both hope people will gain from watching this film? And do you think it could incite some social change as many of these issues are still going on and people a lot of times choose to ignore them even though they shouldn't? Um, I, uh, very, very uh, complex question. I would say that, uh, hmm, you know, I, I, for me, it's like cinema is like an empathy machine, and I, I, I want to make films that c communicate something real about what's going on around us, rather than like an escape. Yeah. I mean, it is an escape, obviously, when you go to the movies and it's like you're presented with a story. But I, I also want it to be kind of a mirror to what's happening around us, and um, you know, I guess subtly allow people to experience a world they otherwise wouldn't and think think differently around how for example how vulnerable women are and, and children are in these situations you know what what it takes to um move past one's fear and anxiety um after an escape because i feel like in film and tv often we see domestic violence mm -hmm. like with the with the actual like incidents in the moment and it's sometimes it's from the male perspective. We don't really get a sense of like the psychological toll. Um, and so, yeah, I, I just wanted to put the audience in the shoes of, of these women and really give their stories, um, you know, central power and um, presence as much as possible. Uh, because I, I do feel like that's where if there is change possible, like that's, that's how it's going to be um, effective. And, and it has, I feel like from the screenings we've had around the world and various women and kids, you know, um, you know, teenage kids who've come up to me and, 
you know, talk, talk to me about where they're at. And it, it, it does feel like the film has, has had an impact um, on, pe- on people's real life decisions. And, and that's really, that's really incredible. Like what more could you want than for your film to have a lasting impact on people's lives? Absolutely. Yeah, I think it's all about awareness. And this mm-hmm. is, for me, it's great to do cinema. You know, it's not always, all, not all movies do the same uh, connection with audience, but, you know, movies like Shada or especially, uh, you know, when you speak about women's situation in this world, that, you know, it, it's important to um, to speak out this is why I appreciate Nura and her mom. Uh, it's a big decision, and I think you can inspire others mm-hmm. with making this kind of movies and speaking out. And you know, ha- yeah. yeah, I believe cinema can change something in this world. Yes, I think so too. And it's so lovely speaking with you both. And I'm really excited for everyone to see the film and, you know, feel that impact and maybe even learn something if that's what they need. But thank you both. And I really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much.